Hey, it's Carol with Crystals and Chai, and this is going to be going on YouTube as well, so I'm going to go ahead and do my introduction. I'm Carol. This is my energy video I'm doing this today, which is going to be of the seven chakras. And um, I hope you make comments. If you are liking what you see, leave a comment. Do you have a favorite crystal or stone? And I just hope that this helps you for what you need. So we'll go ahead and start this out. First, I'm going to clear out with some selenite and get the energy cleared out. And I do live in an RV park, so you may hear some background noises. Sorry about that. You know, I may start this up again because I'm missing some information. Oh, there we go. It's finally working. There we go. Okay. We're going to start with the root chakra, which is in your bottom area. I am using pyrite. It's kind of shiny. It's a very protective crystal. Stone. Thank you for the light. Does anyone have a favorite stone? Like this is pyrite. I'm using it for your root chakra to help to cleanse your root. Try to relieve some of that stress. The root chakra can get very, I picture it's red in color and I picture it from a really dark deep red to a really light green red, green red, light green red, oh, that's a good one, a light red. So, like a really, really deep red to a really beautiful, bright red. And if you know anything about energy healing, you know that the next one is the sacral chakra, which is orange. Or using tiger's eye, because it's a good grounding and healing and protective stone. This one's got some flash to it. I've got a filter on, so it's a little different. The tiger's eye is basically brown with like black strips in there. Thanks for the likes. Sacral chakra is all kinds of things wrapped in it, but it's basically It's up right above your root chakra 
and it's orange and when it needs to be cleansed it's like a deep deep burnt orange but when it's cleansed it's a light beautiful what level reiki um what i do is reiki but it's not exactly reiki because i don't use the symbols i'm a reiki master but i don't practice reiki I usually use that term because it's the most common way of knowing about energy healing. Because the energy just comes naturally from my hands. I don't need to channel anything in. No symbols required. And also mine is a no touch, which is why I can do this energetically through the video. Thank you for asking that question. You're welcome. The person who was asking what level of Reiki I am, and that's why I was answering that question. My, basically, I didn't know this what I was doing, but in this area right here, I can naturally feel a tingle when someone needs energy help. And far as I've ever known, when you're doing Reiki, you're doing all kinds of symbols, which I won't show because you're not supposed to show. That's kind of the level one learning of Reiki. But Reiki is the most common term used for energy healing or light worker. All the same, more or less. At least the concept. I'm using citrine for the solar plexus chakra, which is just a, right around your belly button, above your belly button. I call this your sunny chakra. So it's about happy, I call it the happy chakra. And I'm seeing a lot of people come in, so I'm going to do some selenite. Selenite is used to filter energy and remove the negative. And this will be my first round of going through the chakras. So citrine for your solar plexus chakra. Does anyone have anything they want me to work on specifically? Does anyone have anything they want me to work on specifically? Tooth extra ouchies today. So, I will be doing that in just a second because that's actually a stone I have here, a crystal that I have here that I'll be doing. So, hang on to that. <laughs> so, the next one is the heart chakra. Perfect. I'm sorry you're going through that, but I have a crystal I'll be doing for that. This is for the heart chakra, which is right in your heart area. I'm using turquoise for that one. The heart chakra is one of the most powerful chakras. One of the most powerful. And when um, 
basically the heart chakra is a very powerful one for manifesting. It's a very loving chakra. And turquoise is a very spiritual stone. I think we'll go ahead and do the amethyst is what I was going to do. And this is for most aches and pains. So this will be for the tooth and extract and for the anxiety and headaches. So the toothache, which side is it? It's giving you the problem that you had tooth extract on. Which side? Lower left. Feel. Hey, Angel. Or Murray. I can feel the radiating. And whenever I do energy, I make sure, please make sure that when you, I've helped you with your energy, that you drink plenty of water to flush out all those toxins. I will be getting to you. I think you were the one that needed... It says there's a new message, but I'm not seeing the new message. I think it was tooth extract. And then there was a, another one. Somebody said something about, I'm not finding the message. Locks of anxiety. Okay. Got it. So amethyst is really good for a lot of different things. Amethyst is good for muscle pain. It's good for anxiety. It's good for... It's one of the more powerful crystals next to um, clear quartz. So we're going to work on that anxiety. is working on your anxiety.
Okay. I'm going to do some more selenite because there's a lot of people coming through. Does anyone have a favorite stone that they like? Or a favorite color? Jade. I don't have any jade at the moment, but that's a very good one. Let's see here. Where did my lapis lazuli go? Here's my lapis lazuli. Throat chakra. Right in here. It's your throat. Lapis lazuli is for the throat chakra. It's for a few other things too, but mainly for the throat chakra. This is also good for your thyroid. And, um, yeah, so, throat chakra. Anybody else have a favorite? Anybody else have anything they want me to work on? Anyone else have anything they want me to work on? I will be doing this as a replay on YouTube. And that's why I'm really not saying any names. Nothing comes on there, none of the comments or anything. Just me waving my hands. <laughs> and, throw, and, and showing the stones. And if you want to watch the replay, it's on, um, it will be on Crystals and Chai Healing on YouTube. I like to play music, but I have also found that because I upload it to YouTube, half the time the music is copywritten, so I just use my voice for a little ASMR. I've been told my voice is kind of so soothing, so that helps. Does anyone else have anything they want me to work on for them? So my favorite, oh thank you, I appreciate that. Someone said that you have such a wonderful and calming presence, thank you. So I know I was just using this, but this is amethyst, bone tooth amethyst, and this is one of the things, hi, welcome in. So this is something that I just really love using amethyst because it is one of the strongest healers. That and clear crystal quartz. Does anyone have anything they want me to work on for them? Does anyone have a favorite stone? Leave a comment. And how is this making you feel? How is this helping you? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear. And those of you watching the recap on YouTube, same. Migraine right behind the right eye. Sure. It is throbbing.
So who's ever watching this as a recap on YouTube, please drop a comment on what you... Because uh, I can always do a video recap, recapping. What would you like me to help you with? I can make a YouTube video on that. I can make a TikTok on that. Get rid of that icky energy out of there. And if you've left a comment and I wasn't paying attention, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just working on that energy. So if you want to re, if you've made a comment on anything, you may want to redo that comment. So this is for the third eye, which is right in here. Technically, it's a pineal gland, which is kind of in the middle of your head and your skull. But for now, we'll just say it's right here. This is where anxiety is, you get headaches, all sorts of different things. Just going to take a second just to let the energy flow. If you feel anything, let me know in the comments. If you have anything you need to work on, let me know. If you feel anything, let me know. For me, my energy comes from here. It's an energy. It's universal energy. It comes from spirit source. Whatever you call it goes through me. And the energy goes to you. Oh, good. You're welcome. Make sure you drink plenty of fluids. You know, water's best to get rid of all those energies that don't serve you. And anybody who's been watching this video afterwards, you will definitely want to drink some water and get rid of all those nasty energies. And now I'm going to do some clear quartz. This is one of my favorites. This is the most powerful healer. And I'm doing this for the crown chakra. I like this filter because it's got stars and sprinkles, and I really like that. Does anyone else have anything they want me to work on? May anyone watching this Feel love and light energy. May you feel comfort and happiness. Mental health. Well, this is the strongest crystal. So I'm just going to go and send you love and light energy for mental health. stress leave just give all your stress up to the stars and the skies let the feeling of anything that is bothering you just go away and leave into the universe and let the universe just take care of your worries for you and all of the doubts that you Just remember, each and every one of you is beautiful in your own way. You've all got it in you. 
You're amazing. You're worth every ounce of love. I hope you feel that in your heart. It's important to love yourself. It's also important to take care of yourself. Because the only person who can take, truly take care of you is yourself. And give you the love and the love that you need. Because once you love yourself, you can love other people. I learned that. And it was the best, it's the best thing. Because you can't pour from an empty cup. I'm sure you've heard that a few times. So, I've gone through all the chakras. Does anyone have anything they want me to work on? And here's some Labradorite energy. One of my favorites, the wolf. I love the flashes. I know you can't see the, with the filter that I have on there, but got all kinds of beautiful flash in there. I hope you feel this from your root chakra all the way to your crown chakra. Hey, Nikki. I will be replaying this on YouTube. Oh, and for those who are following me on YouTube, I have a couple of videos that I've put out there. So you might want to go back there and um, once you're done with this live, that is go back in to the YouTube and watch some of the videos I've done. Hey! I've released a couple of different videos. I gotta get back better at getting those videos out. Just been really busy. Does anybody have anything they want me to work on? I know I've been saying that over and over again, but there's been so many people who have been coming through, so I've been repeating myself over again. If that's annoying to some people, I apologize, but as new people come in, I want to be able to help as many people as I can. Oh, and I did upload a couple of other videos explaining some different social media changes. You want to see that too? Yeah, they do. And I love to help. It's one of my favorite things to do is to help people. Oh, good. Mission accomplished. She said, I am feeling relaxed. And I hope that you people who are watching this recap on um, YouTube enjoy it too and I hope that you leave comments and let me know what you feel because what I'm going to start doing is people are commenting on my video recaps I'm going to start doing videos with those ideas writing them down and doing more videos on those so if you're subscribed to me on YouTube or you're following me here you'll want to subscribe so that you don't miss out and start following um, I put out a video on YouTube and TikTok regarding some changes. And you'll want to watch those. Because I'm a little bit over the algorithm, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyone have anything else they want me to work on? Yes, I have posted two videos longer on YouTube, so you'll want to catch up on those. 
I posted one today that literally has zero views. It's kind of sad. Oh well, things will catch up. <laughs> this is the first time I've been live on here for a while. I'm trying to get better at it. But yeah, I go live on TikTok and sometimes I go live on YouTube. Today I just felt like going live on TikTok. But if you're following me on here and you got the notification bell going, you won't miss it. If you're subscribed on to YouTube, the link is, you know where the link is. Um, you won't miss those either. Because some people don't like YouTube and some people don't like on TikTok. So do what you do. And I appreciate those that have started me, started following me here. Appreciate you. But I think I'm going to go ahead and conclude this live. So if you have anything more you want me to do, please speak and I will help you. And you'll want to, after this live is over, look at some the last post I did. Well, it, yeah, because I've posted one regarding my social media. I love you too, little sis. Thank you. I hope you all have a beautiful evening. Remember, you are worth it. You are worthy. You are loved. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Till next time. Thank you. This is Carol with Crystals and Chai. Love you.